Today I'll be demonstrating how to replace the touchscreen on a Dell Latitude E7450 laptop. Replacing the regular display non-touch version is actually quite easy. Just it just involves removing a bezel along the display panel and removing the panel itself and disconnecting it from the motherboard. The touchscreen is a lot more work. As you can see here, I took the time just to replace the panel and touchscreen digitizer assembly here. And let me just tell you now, it's a lot of work with a lot of glue and a lot of really sticky tape. It's not a fun job. Unfortunately, this panel turned out to be faulty, so I was actually shipped an entire assembly for the touch panel. We just have to take apart part of the laptop and remove this and replace it with this one. Just in case you're like me and you're searching for a video on how to replace just the touch panel, but keep the top portion of the laptop. It takes a lot of patience, something like a plastic sponger like this so you don't mark up and dent the case material, and something like a stiff plastic guitar pick. I'm not going to be demonstrating that today. Replacing the assembly will be much easier, so let's do that. First up, let's remove the battery. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, there's two screws right here and right here to remove this bottom panel. Now be careful when you're removing this, it's very flimsy material. You want to push this way gently and release the plastic clips and then it should come off rather easy. And down here it might be a little hard to see on video, but you can see where some of the previous display panel was leaking this really sticky material. We'll clean that up later with some isopropyl alcohol. What I'm gonna start doing is just removing all the screws I can see up top here, as well as the RAM sticks and the MSATA SSD over here. So right now I'm taking all the screws that are labeled with either a P1 or a D or another letter beside it, perhaps indicating either the size of the screw or what it's connected to. Okay, I think I got all the screws with the labels beside it. I'll take out the RAM next. And now we can take out this MSATA SSD assembly. These SSDs are kind of nostalgic. I spent a lot of time installing them into older ThinkPads. There's a screw right beside the RJ45 port right here we'll take out. And then over here by the power plug. Since I know we'll need to remove these cables anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take the M.2 Wi-Fi card out. Right here we have a little metal clamp holding down the display cable, so we can take that off too. And it looks like we just need to gently pull up to release it from the motherboard. We'll gently take that off as well. So I have a feeling that we're going to need to remove some screws underneath the keyboard. What I have here is my plastic stiff guitar pick that I'm going to gently use to remove what looks like just this little plastic piece that fits around the keys. Probably some screws underneath. Let's take a look. Okay, there we go. Two screws to remove over here and one right here. There is actually a screw here right between the A and the S key and right over here just below the L key. I don't know how crucial it is to remove the ripping cable for the keyboard, but we're just gonna do it anyway. We'll go ahead and remove the other ribbon cables too. Oh, that one already came out. All right, so I've been using this tool to gently reach underneath and gently pry up on the keyboard. I think we can now remove it out this way. That was a lot of work. And let's go ahead and remove these screws here. One, two, three. Here's the fourth. And there's actually five, one down here too. All right, now I'm thinking that I can score along the palm rest with my plastic guitar pick and 
Hopefully this will lift up so we can now gain access to the hinge assembly here and over here. Looks like we'll need to remove this ribbon cable too. Looks like this ribbon cable's got to come out too. And it looks like I might have missed this one screw right here by the CPU fan. Let's take it out and see if it makes a difference. And this is why I always say gently remove things because you don't want to be yanking on it and destroy something, especially if it doesn't belong to you. There's our hinges. Now it's time to get those hinges out. We'll start with the one on the right. And onto the left. The left hinge came out pretty easily and I'm just playing with the right right now. Okay, looks like we need to disconnect the power plug from the motherboard in order to get the display panel connection out. All right, that just barely squeezed through. And there we go. Okay, I managed to get one of these little pieces on the right side hinge. Let's go to the left. So now I'm gonna feed the cables through the holes that I took them out of. I'll just time lapse this part and we're going to connect the necessary pieces in order to test the display panel before completing the rest of the install. All right, we got it plugged in. One RAM stick installed, and I'll go ahead and hit the power button now. Oh, look at that. And we got a display. That is music to the eyes. All right, so I'm pretty happy at the moment. All right, so I think I'll disconnect the power and get this thing put back together. Uh, transition over to that. I'm not going to film this part because, of course, it's just the same as taking it apart, but in reverse. And if you've come this far, I'm pretty sure you'll be okay putting it back together. So, I'll see you in the future. So, the laptop's all put together and it's working well. Looks like the touchscreen's working alright. The real question that we're all wanting an answer to. So, this job is officially complete. Thanks a lot for checking out my video. Hopefully it helped you out. And if you're using this same Dell Latitude in 2024, let me know in the comments. If you're looking to replace that touchscreen, well, good luck and hopefully this video helps you out. You can always feel free to chat with me in the comments and I'll try to send you in the right direction. Have a great day.